Hi everyone and welcome to a new video about LC Lander filter design. This is our example number one, considering the Chepichet response filters. We will consider the low pass filter configuration and there will be a third order. We will calculate this in our calculation step by step and also verify these in SPICE simulations. So let's look at our example. The Chepichet response is different than the Butterworth response we have discussed in the previous examples. You can create similar responses uh, with the Sheppy Share, where it has some ripple in the pass band, and it will create then a design where we have a lower order filter. For example, you can go from a sixth order Butterworth response to maybe a fourth order Sheppy Share response. Mm -hmm. And that is advantage if you want to use less components and also make your uh, design less expensive. So let's see what we can do in this example. We'd like to design a Chepichet response, passive LC ladder, low pass filter, and it must be again 50 ohm double terminated shunt input circuit. The specifications are shown here. This is the maximum pass band ripple. It is 1 dB. That's also the ripple uh, in the pass band in this case for a Chepichet. And we need to have a minimum stop band attenuation of 20 dB. The pass band frequency must be 1 megahertz and the stop band frequency is Two megahertz and this is again this generalized filter circuit with the source and the load unity value of one ohm so let's look at the solutions step one is calculation of the filter order as we did in the previous videos with the butterworth response we also have here the specifically the epsilon p and also the epsilon s so epsilon p is again related to a max which is one so 10 to the power of 1 over 10 minus 1 in the square root, you get 0 0.5088. Now going to the epsilon s, which is related to a minimum, the attenuation. So you get then a minimum, that is then in this case 20, and you will cal calculate now 9.9499. This will be then taken together using the formula for the Chepichet response low pass filter which is different than the butterworld in this case we have r cosine uh, hyperbolicus that is h and that's different than the logarithmic and then you can calculate now the filter order using this epsilon s and epsilon p we just calculated and also the f s and fp given in the specifications now when you now substitute the values you get here 2 mega and 1 megahertz and also the values from the epsilons you get now 2.70 seven eight i must say three four and this we need integer values that means we need a third order shape share response filter okay now we need to calculate the frequency scaling factor kf or the cutoff frequency this is actually quite simple because the kf is just omega p that is then two pi times this 10 to the power six because that's one megahertz so this is just what it is for kf so it's actually 2 pi times 10 to the power 6 which is actually the calculation you just set it up that means 1 megahertz so the step 3 is calculate the scaled component values we know uh, require table this is the specific table for the shape share response with one db ripple because you look at this maximum passband ripple and then you take the specific ripple it can be that you have for example here passband ripple of 0 0.5 db then you need to use a different table and you need to use then the 0 0.5 db ripple so we have now the specific uh, table and you know see, also see here the third order fifth order and seventh order uh, design so we can now take this now you see also again x1 x2 and x3 those are the unit the normalized values for the first component the second component the third component values because this was the low pass filter we also have used for a third order for our Butterworth response it's the same circuit exact same normalized but the c1 here has a normalized value of 2.0236 farads the L2 has a value of 0.9941 Henry's and the C3 has then again 2.0236 farads. That's what we need to use for calculating the scaled values. And this is the circuit for the scaled value. You see the primes for the scaled values. You see the RS prime, C1 prime, etc. So they are all scaled. 
So let's go now to this scaled values. C1 is equal to C1 prime, I must say, is equal to C1 given here over the Km and Kf. Now Km is 50 because we need to go from 1 ohm RS and RL to 50 ohm. So that means we need to use the magnitude scaling factor of 50. Kf itself is this 2 pi times 10 to the power 6 as the frequency scaling factor and this c1 is again this value so we now substitute this everything here and you get now 6.441 nanofarads l2 prime which is then the scaled value here is again similar formula we just substitute the 50 here 2 pi 10 to the power 6 and 0.9941 from the table you get now 9 point i mean 7.911 micro henry's and C3 prime is exact same as the C1 prime, so the exact same value, so you get now 6.441 nanofarads. RS prime and RL prime are very similar to what we did in the previous videos with the bottom response, just Km times RS, and that's 50 times 1 is 50 ohm, and the RL prime is also 50 times 1, so it's 50 ohms. Now we have the component values for our circuit, so these are the values collected together and this is now the designed circuit. The first one is the Chebyshev response prototype unscaled LC ladder low pass filter and this is now the scaled version we require from our specifications. You see the, again this 2.0236 uh, farads also for C3 and also for L2 you see that 0 0.9941 Henry's or 994.1 millihenries. This is all scaled up to this required filter. 1 ohms goes to 50 ohms, 1 ohm here goes to 50 ohms and you see also the values here. This is now the designed circuit and we will now simulate this circuit and check that these specifications are met. So the simulation results, this is now the again a body plot for the gain. You see the pass band gain of minus 6.02 dB again. This is a circuit. Let's go through the specification one by one. So pass band gain is minus 6.02 dB. Why? Because at DC you have, this is an open circuit, a capacitor, and this inductor is a short, so you actually get RL over RS plus RL, which is 50 over 100, so we get actually a gain of 0 0.5, and 20 log of 0 0.5 is minus 6.02 dB. Moving on to the pass band frequency, you can see actually the ripple here clearly is actually not visible in the body uh, in the Butterworth response. This is actually a characteristic of a Sheppy show, so it goes up and goes down. And when you have a third order, you actually have, a, a, let's say, a, a peak and a valley. And again, actually the final one, which is then the third point. So actually one, two, three. If you have a fifth order, it will be then one, two, three, four, five. So you will actually have two peaks two values and actually the final one. So you can actually check for yourself what kind of order you have for the Chebyshev response in that fashion. The pass band frequency is one megahertz. You can see that here and why? Because I go from minus 6.02 dB to minus 7.02 dB and it will happen at one megahertz. It is exactly as we wanted. That's the pass band frequency. And also labeled some uh, uh, frequencies actually where you have this minus 0. Point, minus 0. 7. Point, I must say uh, 0 to dBs and also the other ones minus 6.02 so you go down you go up there are some uh, extra information here the stop uh, the passport pill is 1 dB as required as set and stop attenuation is 22.46 dB you can see that uh, here in this label uh, I mean excuse me in this label you can see that here minus uh, 28.48 dB at 2 megahertz. That means actually go down from minus 6.02 dB all the way to tw minus 28.48 dB. That is actually a difference of 22.46 dB. And that is at least 20 dB. So that's actually the required minimum we want. So at 22.46 dB is larger than 20 dB. So it's also met. What you also see is the cutoff frequency is 1.0948 megahertz. But how do we calculate that? The cutoff frequency for the low pass filter configuration for a ship shell response is given by the FP, which is our pass band frequency, times this cosine, uh, cosine of the hyperbolicus, times, uh, and then in that argument, you have R cosine of that hyperbolicus, 1 over the epsilon p over the order so it's quite complicated uh, expression but we don't 
drive this. This is just what it is. And then we just substitute values here because that we have an n of 3. And we also have an epsilon p of 0 0.5088. So we can just substitute the values in here. Everything is known because this is just 1 megahertz, 10 to the power 6. 1 over this 0 0.5088 and n was 3. And you when you do the calculation here, you get actually exactly as c we wanted here. So the cutoff frequency is also verified from this formula. So that means everything is uh, correct. So we passed, uh, let's say, the checking from simulations. So the specifications are also met using this simulation results. All right, guys, this is our example number one about the Chebyshev response using the LC ladder configuration for this low pass filter circuit. If you have any questions, comments about this example, please let me know. I will try to answer them as soon as possible. See you next time in another video. Take care.